the one and only Queen Adele, and yes, I mean the queen of sad songs, the queen of I have awoken from my slumber to dominate. So back off Drake and Taylor Swift, get your tissues ready because it's about to be a wet one. <laughs> it's about to be a wet one. Adele has been absent from the music scene for almost five years. This is the long hiatus luxury most artists today cannot afford. Ask yourself this, if your favorite artists of today took five years off, how will they fare in this fast-paced music market? But here we have Adele, a resemblance of what artists used to be in the glory days of Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, and Lionel Richie. The voice was the main component to every star back then. Even Millie Vanilli understood the assignment. Anyway, Adele's back and the world's ready to listen. Easy On Me released October 15 is the leading single from Adele's highly anticipated album, 30, set for release in November by Melted Stone, Adele's own label, and Columbia Records. Easy On Me received praises from major publications. The single is currently the number one song in the US. It debuted on the Billboard Hot 100 at number 68 with only five hours of availability in the country. And Easy On Me broke the all-time record for the most streamed song in a single day on Spotify with 24 million streams as well as the record for the most streamed song in a single week with 84.3 million streams. With the song currently holding the number one spot in many countries, it's obvious Adele is sitting comfortably on the Iron Throne. Easy On Me is a piano ballad written in the key of F major. The lyrics covers Adele's divorce. It's a letter to her son explaining the things she's gone through leading up to now. It's a lot, so go easy on me. So go easy on me. The song is very simplistic, minimalistic, and that turned off some listeners. Some are saying it's not the leading single they expected and that Adele's getting predictable and mediocre. On my first listen, I'm not gonna lie, I was underwhelmed. Normally, I hear Adele's song, or at least her leading singles, and it normally results with me blacking out and waking up in the hospital, in pain and agony. But with this, I was still sitting, great posture, I could still see, you know, I had good clarity. So I was on the fence initially, but after listening and taking my time with the single, I realized that Adele is probably the greatest vocalist of this generation. And some of y'all might say, oh no, she's not, she's not. But if you look at the big picture, Adele is the greatest vocalist right now. And she has earned the right and respect to release more minimalistic music. Music where she and her team are not trying too hard. She doesn't have to put us in the hospital with every lead single with very dramatic production. Adele's voice carries the song and I think it's the perfect leading single for her fourth upcoming album. Easy On Me does have the traditional elements that we look for in an Adele song, pain, sorrow. But it also has timid shyness to it cause she is talking to her 9 year old son. And it has hope so you do cry a little but at the end you're smiling. I don't think that this single is mediocre or even predictable because I was very surprised after I really took my time and listened to the song. It's a 9 out of 10 for me. So you just listened to me talk about Adele's new single, Easy On Me. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section. Do you think Adele's getting predictable or mediocre? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Up next, watch my previous video where I talk about Tony Braxton's shady ass record deal. Don't forget to subscribe to Don Angelo for more videos. I am Don and I will see you in the next one.